So hi guys, we're back with um, Steve Frost uh, from Martin & Co in Chelmsford and we're sort of digging into um, you know, his life and agency, why um, you know, he's been you know, in, in the property game for such a long time you know, and why he continues to do that. Um, so hi Steve. Hello, how are you Chris? Yeah, good, thank you, good, thank you. So just what, um, what was your childhood like? You know, what did you want to be when you grew up? Did you always want to work in property or did you want to do something different? Um, yeah, not at all. I was brought up in the 70s, um, a council house um, in East London. Um, so not, not a great background. Left school, 16, no qualifications, unfortunately. Um, working class family, work was the, the driver for what I had to do. So I, I left. Um, as a child, I probably always wanted to be a police officer, that's the truth. Uh, or policeman. Um, I most childhood dreams. Um, I had that squashed in the 80s when, at the time in the 80s, they were looking for perfect vision. Unfortunately, I have to wear glasses at, at the time. You know, police officers didn't wear glasses, so um, that was squashed. And yeah, that was that. You'd have made a good copper because you know you're really tall. Yeah, quite. You know, I am. I'd, I'd, you'd have they're all short now, though, aren't they? They're all. Yeah. They've lowered their standards now. They're all short and they all wear glasses. It's fine. Yeah, well, I'd have been. I'd have been fine now, but in the 80s. Yeah. But, did you always want to so after that dream sort of disappeared you know did you want to move into property um, no not really not again really. I, I was i started my career in banking um in the days of when i left school in the 80s you got a job in the last year of school so i ended up a couple of job offers from banks which i chose and um, did that for probably eight to ten years um and i ended up selling financial services after that so that was kind of my next my next move um, and I fell into property in 1996 I'd um, been over Dundon and I first time I'd been over Dundon ever didn't really know what to do I had a young baby I was married to my ex-wife young child went down the job centre and I'm um, looking on the board I never ever got to sign on thankfully um, look you know in the old days when the job the job board was a uh, little adverts on the on the board you took it to the lady and they sorted the interview out for you um, and I went to work, I got an interview for Bear Streams, um, and when I met a guy, um, got on really well with him, offered me a job as a trainee negotiator in 1996, and then I guess that's the rest of the, they say is history. So, um, when you first got into agency then, um, Bear Streams are, you know, they're a recognised brand, you know, they're a national brand, um, that was your first sort of foray into agency, um, how did you find that I mean, it's going from a financial sector into property, um, completely change of tack. You know, how did you find that? It was a challenge. I'm a salesperson at the end of the day, so selling for me the, the house sales. I'm guessing that's why they gave me the job because the, the house selling, you know, at the time it was more known as being a sales role more than a um, more than a kind of as it is now, customer service type role. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I learned from the ground, a corporate world. Obviously, I'd had the banking and I worked for a, fa a corporate financial company as well. So I'd had the corporate, I like the structure, I like the, I like the, you know, the procedural stuff at the Countrywide, Bear Street Group. Oh, and I stayed there for 10 years. I worked my way up to, um, when I left, I was an area manager. So I'd, I'd worked my way through the ranks over the years. So which jobs did you do for them? Um, so I was, um, I went into letting, so, so basically I was working for Bear Stones. I hated the sales side, weirdly. <laughs> um, I've got a small baby, we went to work weekends and um, Sundays and all that kind of stuff, bank holidays. So at the time, um, I saw a job advertised as, within the group for countrywide lettings. Yeah. Um, which is how I fell into letting. So I didn't probably, looking back on it as a boss now, and you know, I probably would have done things differently at the time as a 25 year old. I was a bit hungry, went for the job interview. Um, got offered a job by Countrywide Lettings and then all, all hell broke loose between the departments because Bearstows had trained me and Countrywide Lettings wanted to take me. Um, the, the, the appeal was out, less hours at, at the time, so we're talking probably um, 97, 98. Letting agents weren't open on Saturdays, so that for me that was young child, no weekend, you know, it was perfect. Um, and I, yeah, so I worked my way up, I was a neg there, did property management, um, as a property manager for about four or five years um, and then um, I left Countrywide because I thought the grass was greener on the other side 
um, and I went to work for Andrews um, in Romford, so another, and again, another corporate big brand. That was my first kind of manager's break. Um, countrywide, I could never get a manager's job in, in Countrywide, so I was at, at that point. Um, so I left to go to Countrywide, uh, to Andrews, um, and I was there for about a year, traveling back and forward up, up the A127. Uh, um, and I didn't really enjoy it, is the truth. My nearest branch was like 50 miles away. There was no support, no, it didn't give me the structure I'd had, I wanted to have as a new manager. Um, and then some personal stuff happened. I lost a couple of relatives quite closely together. And I kind of um, ended up sitting up on my own from my back bedroom in so, 2001. Yeah. What was the name of that firm? That was. So again? What was the name of that firm? Um, Morton Property Services. Um, so basically my stepdad died. So that was kind of why it was Morton. So it's kind of his money that, that I used, my inheritance I used for that. Um, set up on my own in my back bedroom. Did that for probably about a year, 18 months. Um, marriage had broken down at that point. I was in a new relationship as well by that by, you know, by the end of 18 months. Countrywide, little known to me, has been watching me. So every time the area manager come down, he used to go into the staff and moan that I was doing well and I've got this and I've got that and I was doing this. And then one day he approached me and said, would I sell my business? By this point, it's probably about a year, 18 months later, I've got another child or on the way. Expecting. Yeah. It, the bedroom was still, it'd gone out of the bedroom. I was in a kind of a, a de- I was renting a desk off another agent. Yeah. And um, but the appeal of countrywide, I, initially I said no, I, mean, I resisted them a couple of times. And then they come back with a salary as well as a selling the business, which I couldn't, as a manager, which I couldn't re- refuse. So that yeah. kind of, and then I spent the next eight years there, worked my way up area manager, um, which I really enjoyed. I looked after some of the Kent branches. Um, and Billericay, Southend, Chelmsford as well. 